Let's do this. Hi everybody, and welcome to Jimmy Draws Art. I'm Jimmy Dragon. Well, today I'm pretty much out of ideas. I figured that this video will be an art vlog of sorts, I think. I'm going to be working on a series of drawings, I think, and I will do this voiceover and pretty much say what's on my mind today. The crazy thing is that I do have a lot on my mind. I have been thinking about my artwork and what I am wanting to do maybe in the future, I think. Honestly, I don't think I can continue to keep doing what I am doing if I want to grow as an artist and grow on this platform. So I'm not too sure what to think about things. I do hear other successful art YouTubers tell us that we should be working on a project. Whether it be a small one that takes about a month or a huge one that takes the rest of our lives. But in the end, we should be working on a project. I really do agree that we should be working on a project. I do have a project that is on the back of my mind. I have been thinking of bringing it forward a few times during the past few months. It's been something I want to work on, and that is my comic Romancing Dragon. It has been a project that I have been working on, off and on, for well over many years. It's something I have been thinking about, and writing about, and planning about since I graduated high school. If you are a follower of my channel, you have seen and heard glimpses of the story and characters I have drawn. One character is Ella. I draw her a lot. She is one of the main characters of this story that I want to write about. Anyway, why haven't I done much about this story and comic? Truth be told, I'm a bit afraid and overwhelmed. The size of the story is an epic tale. One that will pretty much take up all my free time to write and develop and draw. I should try and chisel away at this project, and I should, but for some reason I have made attempts at drawing the comic, I have tried to draw the first issue, and in some ways I have completed the first issue. But as I have grown older, I know it wasn't that great, and I have rewritten that issue. I have pretty much rewritten the story well over three or four times. The big problem is that I don't really have a clear path on where to take this story. I don't have a clear ending to the story. I do know how I want to begin the story. At least I like to think I do. Honestly, I don't know. I have been forever stuck in this world building syndrome that I forgot what it was that I wanted to do with the story. But that's one project. There are other projects I have been thinking of doing. I honestly don't know if they are really just a complete waste of time. I can work on draw this in your style challenges, but again, do I really want to keep working on those? Do I want to grow the channel? I do want to grow the channel, but the things that look like they draw views to my channels are the popular things like fan arts and the DTIYSs and art boxes. Those videos are my most popular videos. That all seems to be fine and wonderful, but sometimes I don't want to do those subjects. And it seems like the YouTube algorithm punishes you for going off on your own because it doesn't know where to place your video among the millions of videos being posted on YouTube. In many ways, it feels like I'm trying to scream into the void and it seems like no one hears. Alright, so that was one thing, working on a project. Another thing other art YouTubers have mentioned is to specialize in an art style. Well, I do feel like I sort of have done this. Well, a little bit at least. At least I draw things in the anime style. But I have seen other artists who have a much greater following who are really specializing. One artist, for example, I follow has the anime style but does it in a game style and purely in watercolor. That was one example, but there are others I follow who follow the same principle of specializing in something very specific. I do feel that maybe this is something I should follow, but at the same time, I really don't want to be placed in a box and be the artist who only does this or does that. I want to play in other art mediums. I sometimes want to do something different when the mood strikes. And when I do, I don't want to be punished by the algorithm gods that seem to control the world right now. It's like that saying, being stuck between a rock and a hard place. The other thing that has been on my mind is what I was told by another artist on YouTube, and that is to have consistency. Consistency in just about everything you do, and the one thing that has bugged me the most was when they said to have a consistent name across all your social media so others can find you. I mostly have that, but the one thing that has been the thorn in my side is my Instagram account. My YouTube and DeviantArt are the same at JimmyDrawsArt. 
but Instagram, when I tried to sign up for it, everything was going great. And when I clicked the create account button, the computer glitched. I had to restart my computer because the thing locked up just then. So when I tried to log into Instagram, it said that the user didn't exist. So when I tried to re-sign up again, it said the username, Jimmy Draws Art, was no longer available. I tried many times to get that username on Instagram, but it no longer worked. And of course, customer support on that platform is non-existent. So I signed up as Jimmy Dragon Draws. You see, I like Jimmy Draws Art. I do like it. I have thought of just maybe putting a period at the end of the name on my Instagram, something like that, but the word consistency keeps creeping back into my mind. I have thought of changing my name to Jimmy Dragon Studios, but then my YouTube and my Google public email of Jimmy Draws Art can't be changed. I would have to create a new YouTube maybe if I want to keep that. I don't know if I want to do that. I can change my email, I do know that. My YouTube will stay the same if I keep my old account still active. Just means it's another account I will have to keep track of. Consistency, consistency, and consistency. Ah! I know that most of this stuff that I'm talking about is just something that I'm going to have to just buckle down and make a decision. But if I do decide to make a name change, what do you think of Jimmy Dragon Studios? Or should I just keep Jimmy Draws Art? and just change my Instagram to Jimmy Draws Art and put a period at the end. I mean, I would hope that if somebody was searching me on Instagram, that as they were typing my name, Instagram would pop up my account before they finish typing it out. I know it does that, but these are things that are on my mind. Well, I know I have been talking about these things. I should focus on things I think are going good. I did get an email from YouTube about the progress of my channel during the month, and I have to say, it did look promising. During the last month, I did get quite a few new subscribers. So with that said, I thank you for subscribing to all of you who have hit that button during the past month. I also say thank you to all who have hit that button in the past and have stuck around watching me. But the big thing I saw was the watch time. Apparently, I made it to almost half of my required time to monetize the channel. That was a surprise. So that means you all like watching my content. I'm really happy about that. Again, it looked like it was mostly my art box unboxing, or my DTIYS challenges, or my fan art drawings I have done in the past. But still, it gave me a little hope for my little channel here. I also look at my channel and think to myself that I am growing. It seems like every week I get a notification of a new subscriber. So the channel is growing in that sense. It does help for me to keep making these videos every week, or at least I try to get a video out every week. I have failed a bit on that aspect, but I am only human. The past few weeks have been a test to that, I have to say. But let's focus on the good. I have been trying to be consistent, trying to get a quality video up, and one that I can say I'm happy about having up. Even this one. I know I say I am happy about what I post every time I post, but I look at it like, hey, I created this. This was in my mind and now I have it out. And I'm sharing it with the world. So with that said, let's wrap this up. I really hope that you like this video. If you do, please consider giving this video a like. And please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content from me in the future. I thank you for watching this video. And we shall see you in the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.